Hello YouTube and welcome back everyone to the hub of Roblox, bringing you another epic set of Roblox updates this week again like we always do. In today's video, we're going to be dropping 10 of the creepiest Roblox accounts that are known by the community along with all of the details too. It's going to be pretty wild so before we get started, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel too and without any more interruptions, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Kicking this list off at number 10, this first entry is actually the 23rd account ever created on Roblox and goes by the name of Loduha. Now there's not a whole lot to say about him obviously, other than he created his Roblox account in February of 2006, only a couple of months after Roblox was officially released. He has no connection to any other forms of social media, which left a lot of people that came across the profile a little more than unsettled. Next up for number 9, we have the 22nd account ever created on Roblox and he goes by the name of Keith. Keith joined the exact same day as the previous Robloxian Lodaha and during his time on the site, he created a group called Roblocops. The group just comes off as super weird when you try and look into what it actually is, because the description gave no real indicators as to what it actually was, a creepy factor that could have been totally avoided on his part. For number 8, this account goes by the name of Test. Also joining in February of 2006, Test is basically what you probably imagined it is, and that is a Test account created by Roblox. Whatever the purpose of it was, or what kind of tests they performed with it are unknown, but since being created, the infamous account has gathered over 4,000 followers. A creepy fact about this is that players have reported private messaging the account, thinking to not receive anything back because it's a blank account. However, to their surprise, they would sometimes receive a hello back, leaving them terrified. For number 7 on this list, we have an account named 000. This account is now deleted, and for good reason too, because it had been reported numerous times in the past for strange activity and interactions with other people's accounts, so it's better off just staying a mystery as to why it's so creepy and uncomfortable to talk about. Moving on to number 6, this is another one of the accounts that you can actually no longer visit because it's either been deleted or banned in the past few years. We all found it really interesting and still aren't entirely quite sure why. The account was the 8th account ever created and it was a Roblox owned account by the name of Toolbox. They joined on the same day as all the others and was nearing over 2,000 followers before it was deleted forever. Pretty strange. A similar situation is seen with our number 5 entry as well, known as QA. Now for this one, there may be a theory as to why it saw the same fate as Toolbox. Players believe that Roblox had planned on making a question and answer account, maybe for the most frequently asked questions, or it could have been an account that maybe you could chat with in order to have your questions about the game answered. Obviously, something like that wouldn't exactly work now as there's millions of players. However, it could have done exactly that when the game was first introduced. This is only speculation though, as we probably won't know the actual history of it anytime soon, so it remains a pretty creepy mystery if none of that turns out to be true. For a little bit of a twist for the rest of the accounts we have for this list, including 4, 3, 2, and 1, the accounts were all known as John Doe, Jane Doe, Roblox, and Admin. There's been quite a bit of controversy surrounding these accounts. Some like Jane and John Doe don't really have a purpose on the site, though players have made some crazy stories surrounding them for some reason. People have threatened to hack the accounts to take advantage of the admin features they believe they have, but no one has actually ever even been slightly successful. The accounts are just surrounded in an aura that makes players uncomfortable when they are brought up, so it's better to just leave them engraved in the history of the site where it belongs. But let us know what you all think about these rather creepy Roblox accounts down in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching, and if you enjoyed what you saw, be sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel too. This is the Hub of Roblox signing off, and we'll catch you all in the next one.